For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And the question is, saved from what? Hell. That is the priority of salvation. To not go to hell and be with God. For Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, but by Jesus. And when you reject Jesus Christ, you'll be rejected by Jesus. And when you reject Jesus Christ, and you are rejected by Jesus... You're not going to go to heaven. And there's a lie that everybody goes to heaven. <coughs> Those that hate Jesus won't appreciate heaven. Because it will be all about Jesus. Come on, you think a Satan worshiper is going to enjoy heaven? You think somebody's into rock and roll is going to enjoy heaven when there's no rock and roll? Now there may be rock and roll in your church, but there'll be no rock and roll in heaven. God won't allow that filth. I mean, everybody's going to go to heaven. Many will not enjoy heaven. <laughs> because for some people, oh, we get to heaven, we're going to worship. You're not going to worship me? Me, myself, and I? No. It's going to be about Jesus. And th there are people here at the farmer's market. We hate that Jesus, he preaches. Then you're not going to like heaven. Because when you get to heaven, you're going to hear preaching like what you're getting tonight. It's going to be all about Jesus. Now, it won't be about salvation. But it'll be from what the Bible. You're being judgmental by judging me about preaching. So, hush up. You're judging me. So, judge not, they should be judged. Fool. Fools. Judge not, least should be judged while you're judging the preacher. Preaching. You gotta think before you speak. Because you, you don't think before you speak, garbage may come out. And when you preach about Jesus, there's no garbage. And when you rebuke and you curse out the preacher, that's garbage. That's perishable. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Well, preacher, I don't like what you're preaching. That's garbage. It's perishable. Come to Jesus and know the love, the joy, the peace that come through the fruit of the Spirit. So foolish are the words of the world. So foolish is what the devil will have people to believe. So foolish is the lack of fear of God. So foolish 
is to say there is no God. So foolish as somebody, oh, I'm a Christian and hate the preaching of the Bible and the, the Lord Jesus Christ. You ain't a Christian. For the Bible says that if you love the Word of God, you love Jesus. And you love not the Word of God, you don't know, love Jesus. And you don't realize what we're preaching is Jesus, the Word of God. Somebody's at great air in their spiritual life. You're judging. Judge not. That's tactics of the devil. And I want you to know here and now, you know, you go, oh, judge not. Well, you're already judging me, so be quiet. Hush up. You're a hypocrite. You come up to me, judge not. Well, you're judging me, you hypocrite. Shut up. Listen to the preaching. Get saved. Get right. Believe on Jesus. There you go. You're a condescending fuck, too. <laughs> Ooh. Big words. I'm telling you what everybody else out here is thinking. You're condescending, you're judgmental. Ain't nobody going to listen to you because of that. You're listening to me right now by only judging because, me. Only because your loud mouth won't shut the fuck up. Well, thank you. That's enough. Yeah. I love your filthy mouth too in front of all the women and children. Boy, I feel sorry for There's you. Satan's mouth and here's God's mouth. You eat with that mouth, sir? Yeah, I can get your mouth All right. There's a man that hates God and hates Jesus. No, I don't hate God. I hate you. I love well, God is love. God is love. If a brother says that he hates a brother of the Lord, he's a murderer. You're, you're contradicting the Bible, sir, not knowing the Bible, to know that Jesus saves with a filthy mouth like that in front of women and children. And I'm here every week preaching about Jesus. What the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Tell the people about heaven. Tell the people about hell. Tell them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you speak the words of Satan. You speak the words of the, of the world. You give them no hope. You give them profanity. And we give them the holiness. We give them the blessedness. We give them words of life. And your words are hatred. Your words are cruelty. Wherefore by your fruit you should know them. It's so simple to see that which is right and that which is wrong. People are listening because you're listening and mad at the preaching. You're angry with God, not the preacher. You're angry with the words of God, not the preacher. Because if I were to stand here and preach about NASCAR, if I would stand here and preach about baseball, if I stand here and preach about dancing girls, you would love it. But since I stand here and preach in Jesus Christ in the Bible, it's hated. It's so simple. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and declare my people. And you're spoken about in the Bible. It's so simple. Trust and obey and see that God is good. Can you stop for a second while I'm right here? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. She said at the end of the day, I Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gates. 
in the city she utters her voice saying, how long ye simple ones will you love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. You're found in the very words of the Bible. And week after week, I'm going to preach Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. He that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's so amazing that the preacher comes outside of the farmer's market and preaches holiness and righteousness. And yet the, the vendors of the farmer's market are filthy. They're vile. They're wicked. They're without Christ, without hope. Unless they put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Tis so simple to believe. Tis so simple to get the fruit of the Spirit. Love. That man said, he hates me. He has no love of the Spirit. He has not right with God. Because the very first fruit of the Spirit is love. The second fruit of the Spirit is joy. That man has no joy. He's not of God. And the more you cuss me out, the more you, you rag on me, the more the, the brighter and the, my batteries get charged. I was going to pack up and go home before that guy started speaking. My batteries are recharged. I can go for another hour, two hours. Love, joy, peace. I've got the peace of God. 35, 34, 35 years I've been saved to a week. I have put my faith and trust in Jesus. It gave me love, joy, and peace. I'm going to heaven. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. I know where I'm going to go when I die. I know I'm pleasing God. I know if I take my last breath, I'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. I know that God is pleased with the preaching. I know my sins are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I know my name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I know that God is Jesus. I know that Jesus is God. I know that's his eternal life through Jesus. I know I'm not ever going to heaven or hell again. I know that Jesus saves. And I know where you're going to go unless you put, repent, and get right. I know the salvation of God. I know how wonderful God is. And I know how rotten Satan is. I know Satan and his lies. And I know that God, Jesus Christ, is the truth. I know he is the way. I know he is the life. And I know God is... Reached, not by religion, not by baptism, not by works, but by faith and belief. I know the gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I know I have been redeemed by the Lamb. I know that one day God's going to wipe away my tears. I know there's a place called New Jerusalem. I know I'll stand before the throne of God and before the Lamb of God. And there'll be multitudes and multitudes. Those that have been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I know one day I'm going to get a brand new body. I know one day I don't need health insurance. God will give me the ultimate health insurance. I know one day I'll never die again. 
I know one day my voice is dying, but my voice will never die again. I know one day my voice will exalt Jesus Christ. I know whom I have redeemed by the blood, by the blood of the Lamb. I know that God is satisfied in the sacrifice and the merit of the finished work of Jesus Christ. I know that he was bruised for our iniquities. I know the Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world. I know the wages of sin is death. I know the gift of God's eternal life. I know that God is love. And I know that Satan is deceiving you. I know if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, I know you'll get the love. I know you'll get the peace. I know you'll get the joy. And I know you're without it today. I know that this King James Bible is the very flower, word of God. I know. I know from Genesis to Revelation. I know. I know the glory of the Lamb. I know the exaltation of the Lamb. I know the mercy of God. I know the love of God. I know the grace of God. I know the healing of God. I know God and God knows me. And I know, yes I know, what do you know? Where's your soapbox, so to speak? I know that God gave me victory over alcohol. No more in bondage to alcohol. I know God gave me the victory over tobacco. Though my lungs are suffering. I know God gave me the victory over drugs. I know April 25th, 1987, on the afternoon of a Saturday, God saved my soul, wrote my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I know. I think the question is, what do I know? I know there's a lot of people that hate God. I know there's a lot of people who rebuke God. I know there's a lot of people that don't want to have anything to do with God. I know one lie. Everybody loves God. I know that's a lie. I know everybody's not going to heaven. That filthy mouth won't go to heaven unless he believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. I know there's no hope in the Pope. I know baptism can't save you. I know I have two wives that are in glory today, right now, before Jesus Christ. I know I have an unborn son that's in heaven right now. I know I have two children going to heaven. I know I have a father-in-law going to heaven. I know my mom's going to heaven. Probably my dad went to hell because he rejected Jesus. I know grandparents are in heaven through Jesus Christ alone. I know God saved me from a drowning. I know God took this wicked, vile sinner and saved his soul. I know God's taken every sin and washed it in the blood of Jesus Christ. What you don't know is, on April 1st of this year, God could have taken me home. God could have said to me, come home. What you don't know, God said, I'll give you another week of preaching at the farmer's market. April 1st, I almost went home to be with the Lord. And three weeks before that, I almost went home to be with the Lord. That's what the doctor said. But here I am. That guy said, he's here every week. Now, I've been in the hospital for a month and a half. I know I pray for the people of this farmer's market. I may not know your name, but I know your booth. 
I see your wife and children. I pray for them. There are names and people at this farmer's market I have written down in my prayers list, and I pray for them. I met a woman last week, Linda. I pray for her. I pray for this gentleman over here with these beautiful flowers. I ain't going to pray for you to make business with your filthy mouth. I'm going to pray that God's going to take you down with that filthy mouth to the rock bottom. Do you know Jesus Christ saves? You pray like that? You better believe. I'll pray whatever it takes to pray for your soul to get right with God. What do I know? That was a great question to ask. I know one day I'm going to get a brand new body. I know one day I'm going to have ten toes again. I ain't got ten toes now. I know one day I'll never have diabetes. I'll never have to take medication when I get to glory. I'll never have to say goodbye to a loved one in glory. What do I know? I know I'll see my first wife in heaven when I kissed her lips and she died. I'll never say goodbye to Lisa again because she's saved by the blood. And when Tracy died of lung cancer, I'll never say goodbye to Tracy again because she's saved by the blood of Jesus. That's what I know. That's what I know. I pray for God for a third wife. If she be saved, I'll know she'll be in glory. I got a wonderful daughter over here serving the Lord, passing out gospel tracts, leads a clean life for Jesus Christ. What do you know? What's your children doing? Wonderful, great blessings of God. I know my daughter's saved, and I know my daughter serves the Lord. I know my daughter will hear, well done. I know my son was involved in a very serious sin, and I know my son has repented through the blood of Jesus Christ and gotten it right. That's what I know. I know how to shut a sinner up. I haven't heard your mouth. You ask me what I know. Yes, I know. The blood of Jesus saved my soul. And now I'm washed clean. I know Noah preached. And I know Noah was rejected by the people of his day. I know when Noah got in that ark, only eight people went in that ark. I know that. I know how to witness the Jehovah Witnesses and put them down and help them to get right. I know how to lead a Catholic to the Lord Jesus Christ. I know how to get men in prison to get into a right Bible. I know how to get men in prison to know the Lord Jesus Christ and they're saved. I know God is merciful. I know that God's long-suffering. I know that God's not willing that any should perish. I know that God would have you to be saved. I know that I've been here for six years. And the word of God prevailed. I know that God's closing the door. I know that Jesus Christ is coming soon. When? I have no idea. I have no idea, but I know the blessed hope is coming. I know whether I die or rapture, I'm going home. And I know where my home is. It's north. I know that there are five cherubims. And they cry out, holy, 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 O Lord God Almighty. 
I know that there are 24 elders before the throne of God. I know that there's a green rainbow around the throne of God. Yes, I said a green rainbow. I know my Redeemer liveth. And with my eyes I will beheld Jesus. I know if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. I know if you gain the whole world and die without Jesus, it's a total loss. I know. I am no that I am washed in the blood. I know I have satisfaction. I know I'm content. Though I do have prayers to God, I'm content. I know I am a vile sinner still before God. I'm still a sinner. I know I don't pray enough. I don't confess my sins enough. I know I'm not a proper dad. I wasn't a proper husband. I'm not even a proper preacher. I ain't nobody important. But I know God loves me and God loves you. That's why I'm here. You're here for fortunes. I'm here with the blood of Jesus Christ. You're here for tokens of the world. I'm here for the eternal life. And may God use me somehow by preaching that Jesus saves. And I know you're not angry with me. You're angry with God. Paul, who persecuted Christians and murdered Christians, on the road to Damascus, Jesus said, Why persecutest thou me? You don't realize when you bad mouth the Christian, Jesus Christ takes it personally. And it's the only thing I can only say, Lord God, forgive them, for they know not what they do, that they'll believe on you to be saved. Before death or rapture, if you call upon Jesus to be saved. To know that Jesus saves. There is a blessed hope. And Jesus is coming. One fine day. I know through the grace and mercy of God. I know God has used me that there are people in heaven and going to heaven through my lips, through the word of God. I know there's Christian lives that have been changed by God using me. And I know there have been lives destroyed because of me. See, I'm a sinner too. I ain't 100%.
but I'm washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I have been cleansed. I confess to Jesus and Jesus alone. The only satisfaction of God is through Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That's love. The love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world He gave. That's charity. Gay, give, give. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God is love, first John. I think it's first John four or five, I forget. But what you don't know for the lost man, the love of God is he gave, he gifted, he charity. The lost man, Jesus Christ, and the finished work of Jesus. And the finished work of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's all. God took an 18-year-old punk... Involved in alcohol, involved in tobacco, involved in drugs, and things I can't even mention. On April 25th, 1987, God saved that wicked punk. And God gave the victory over that punk that got saved wrote his name down in the Lamb's Book of Life, gave him eternal life, gave him hope. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, April 25th, 1987, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I can't shut up about Jesus. Because all that Jesus done for me, all that Jesus is doing for me, and all that Jesus will do for me, I can't shut up. And he can do it for you, too. How much are your hot desks? They do okay beef side and salt, you think? God is so great. And we are so much sinners. And yet God's merciful that he gave his life that we may have life. You don't know what God did to this miserable punk that I was. I would hate to see what I turned out to be without God. What do I know? I know that God saved my soul. I know it's only through Jesus Christ. I know that people hate God. And it breaks my heart. Because I know where you're going to go without Jesus. Unless you repent. 
unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. I know where you're going. I know that Jesus saves. And I know many will go off into hell. I know the few that will go and be saved. I know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I know.